Okay, today I'm going to be making edible Prince Rupert drops. Okay, so after I show you how to make these, I'm going to test if they act like real Prince Rupert drops. I'm going to test if they can take a blow from a hammer. And I'm also going to test if they explode when you cut the tail off. And then I'm going to be eating some of them to see if they really are edible without hurting myself. So Prince Rupert drops are pretty interesting. They're made by dripping molten glass into water and they rapidly cool and create internal stresses. So they make the bulb of it really structurally sound. You can hit it with a hammer and it won't break even though it's glass. But if you just snip the tail, the whole thing explodes. But I wanted to try this not out of glass, but out of hard candy sugar and see if I can make an edible Prince Rupert drop. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding sugar corn syrup and water and what's going to happen is the water will boil off so it will form a super saturated solution of sugar and the corn starch has some starch in it that will interfere so that the sugar can't crystallize again but it will still harden because there's no more water in it so it forms this amorphous solid very similar to glass this is the same way that you make candy glass it's edible but very hard and clear and then once I make it, I'm going to be dropping it into liquid nitrogen to simulate dropping molten glass into water. And I'll see how well that works. Okay, we're getting real close. We're starting to look like molten glass in here. Almost ready to turn it into Prince Rupert drops. Okay, so in order to simulate the temperature difference between dropping liquid glass in water, I have some liquid nitrogen. I'm going to drop a glob of the molten sugar glass into the liquid nitrogen and hopefully it will harden instantly. that awesome oh broke oh the tails just pop off you can see how these things really shatter once I get them under liquid nitrogen it's almost like glass on my hands so even though it's just sugar, it does cut you pretty easily when these shatter. So it seems that either due to the internal stresses or just the temperature difference, the liquid nitrogen just keeps making them shatter. So I'm gonna try a few in water and see if I can get them. Okay, so here are my Prince Rupert drops. So they actually turned out pretty well. They look very similar to the real thing. They're very hard. I've cut myself a few times trying to make these. So one thing I've noticed with them is that after they sit a while, they actually absorb some of the moisture from the air and they get a little sticky. So the benefit of using liquid nitrogen is that the water doesn't get the sugar wet because water dissolves sugar. And so this is more realistic and more comparable to a real Prince Rupert drop. Let's see if these are pretty strong like the glass Prince Rupert drops. Wow. Huh. That actually takes a pretty good hammer hit. Wow. It's not breaking. Huh, I can't break it. Huh. Okay, safety glasses are on. I'm going to give it a harder hit. Huh. Can't break it. Oh, there it finally goes. So it finally did shatter when I got it right on it, but it wasn't breaking very easily at all. So these are actually quite structurally sound, just like the glass Prince Rupert drops. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Let's go ahead and try one. Really hard. So it didn't shatter when I bit off the tail. I'm scared to eat this part because I keep getting poked by the little ends. Oh, 
Well, I ate a Prince Rupert drop. An edible Prince Rupert drop. So if any of you have like really big nerd parties, you can make Prince Rupert drops as the dessert and everyone will love you. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you subscribed yet? Just hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. You can leave me any questions you have in the comments section, any science questions I'll try to answer or any suggestions you have. I get some really good ideas from you guys and we'll see you next time.